A victim of the fire that happened on 8th Street on Wednesday is getting help from some co-workers and a GoFundMe after being displaced. We talked to one of those co-workers today. A new resident to St. Joseph lost almost everything in a fire on Wednesday at an apartment building on North 8th Street. He just moved here roughly two months ago, two, three months ago to get um, a higher income because he was over in Kansas. And so he works down at the Taco Bell and then he started a second job here because he wanted to go to the Bahamas. That was his dream, so he started saving money. He's displaced after the fire and trying to get back on his feet with some help from his co-workers at Gino's Pizza downtown. We called a bunch of our friends and some of our, our customers stepped in. People have brought by clothes and different housing items and money for him. Um, some of our employees were able to bring some clothes for him the day of. He came in yesterday afternoon with a black trash bag and that was all that he had left from his apartment. Palmer works at Geno's with his parents who are the owners and he says all the employees chipped in to help and Palmer started a GoFundMe. He just needs it all, so if anybody has anything or any extra money that they want to donate to him, he'd, he'd really benefit from it. The fire is still under investigation, and it's not clear yet exactly how many people lived in the building, but there were 36 apartments. So the American Red Cross and United Way were prepared to support the victims. I know our teams were, uh, we had teams on site the night of the fire, uh, then we had uh, volunteers uh, staged at the Red Cross building there in St. Joe. Both organizations are working on getting supplies, donations, and more resources for all the residents that were displaced by the fire. So we're all staying in communication to make sure we're sharing those hygiene packs, snack items, foods, getting food pantry boxes to easy locations if someone needs it. And hopefully with enough money raised, Gabriel's co-worker will be able to get a new place to live and maybe a trip to the Bahamas as well. It was pretty traumatizing for him. He was inside whenever the fire struck. Um, he's a super sweet kid and he's just trying to just trying to get it all together and figure out, you know, where he wants to be. And, and it was really sad that he had to endure that and we're hoping that we can, he can make it through in a good amount of time. If you want to donate to the GoFundMe, we will have a link to it in this article on our website. And you can also find it on the Geno's Pizza Facebook page.